Welcome back. We are learning today that federal investigators believe that Russia is behind a cyber attack on Florida's election system. The FBI believes hackers working for Russian intelligence access the personal data of Florida voters. The FBI is now preparing to provide updated guidance to state election officials across the country to defend their own systems from similar attacks. All this coming just days after the White House named and shamed Russia for the ongoing cyber attacks against Democratic Party leaders and institutions. Despite the mounting evidence, Russia's foreign minister insisted today the Kremlin is innocent. Still, U.S. officials are increasingly warning that Russia is aggressively attempting to undermine the U.S. election and election system. Today, the highest levels of the Russian government denying that the Kremlin is behind ongoing and widespread hacks of the U.S. election system. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov telling CNN's Christian Amanpour there's just no proof. Everybody in the United States is saying that it is Russia. It's flattering, as I said, but it has nothing, you know, to, 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 be, to be explained by the facts. We have, we have not seen a single fact, a single proof. Russian President Vladimir Putin going further, saying the U.S. is pointing the finger at Russia to divert attention from what's actually inside the hacked emails. All the hysteria is aimed at making the American people forget about the manipulation of public opinion. Everyone is talking about who did it. But is that important, who did it? The most important thing is what is inside this information. But the evidence say U.S. officials is mounting. CNN has learned that U.S. investigators believe Russia is behind a cyber attack on a contractor for Florida's election system that exposed voter data. This after the U.S. took the rare step Friday of publicly naming and shaming Russia for hacks of Democratic Party leaders and institutions. White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest not mincing words about Russia's intentions. Russia was interested in destabilizing, or at least attempting to destabilize, the U.S. political system. Democrats, however, claim Russia wants more to win the election for Donald Trump over Hillary Clinton. The hacks, uh, the leaks. Campaign chairman John Podesta, whose hacked emails are being released day by day on WikiLeaks, suggesting the Trump campaign is actively working with WikiLeaks to damage the Clinton campaign. The Clinton campaign pointed to this tweet by Trump confidant Roger Stone in August, in what CNN believes he meant to say, quote, Trust me, it will soon be Podesta's time in the barrel. It's the reasonable conclusion that uh, Mr. Stone had advance warning in the Trump campaign, had advance warning about what Assange was going to do. Stone told CNN that he had no foreknowledge of the WikiLeaks documents.